Okay chaps, welcome back to part 8 of the Watt 4 ARTF build. Um, as you can see, the tailplane has now been fully assembled and glued to the fuselage. The fin is glued in. Uh, the elevator is fully hinged and glued in. And so is the rudder with the steerable tail wheel at the back end there. All that's finished now and ready to go. So now um, we've got to consider our radio installation onto the inside of the fuselage. As you can see it, there's already uh, pre-cut slots for your servos um, the position of your tank obviously going into this hole here towards the, the bulkhead and I've already screwed on the plastic engine mount that is supplied in the kit ready to go for the engine. Um, these are the servos that I'll be using in this Watt 4. They are Spectrum DS 821's uh, digital servos which are really good for this sort of sports type model um, pretty cheap very reliable um, and these are actually servos that have come out of another model that I've previously crashed so I'm reusing those um, this is the engine that I'm using it's a two stroke 53 Irvine uh, smashing little engine these are really really nice and powerful uh, it's a real pity that they don't make them anymore, um, but they can still be had fairly cheaply on eBay if you shop around. Uh, and this is the receiver that I'll be using. It's a Spectrum AR6210 with uh, a satellite. That's brand new for the model. Uh, the battery I'll be using is these uh, four cell AnyLoop uh, 4.8 battery, which is uh, perfectly adequate for this size model. Uh, they're a really good battery. Um, they hold the charge very very well something like 70% battery charge over 12 months which is uh, pretty good I'll be looking to change um, all my models over to this style of battery um, and this is the switch harness uh, that's also come out of a, a previous model uh, nothing really to say there supplied with the kit is the fuel tank and the necessary hardware for the fuel tank the pipe in the bung the clunk which I'll be showing you how to pipe up in a later video. Uh, also that comes with the kit is the hardware for the pull pull uh, rudder system it's a wire operated system all the bits and pieces are there and also the plastic control horns for the elevator and the ailerons come with the kit also so all in all everything's there it just needs assembling now and finally here is the Watt 4 instruction manual which us chaps always look at last of all when we've finished everything just to make sure that uh, everything's okay and uh, everything's been assembled. 